affirmative action, the ruling effect on medical schools, because it's over folks for now, for now. The war on affirmative action spreads fear and uncertainty on health disparities within the black and brown community. There are consequences and there are tentacles and they are far reaching. Let's give you the background on SCOTUS's decision to strike down affirmative action. On Thursday, SCOTUS ruled that affirmative action programs violated the Equal Protection Clause of the Constitution and are therefore unlawful. The vote, six to three in the UNC case, six to two in the Harvard case. The ruling now bars race as a factor in admissions. Justice Sotomayor dissented, saying, increasing the number of students from underrepresented backgrounds who join the ranks of medical professionals improves health care access and health outcomes in medically underserved communities. NBC News. Data supports Justice Sotomayor's opinion, provides empirical evidence to demonstrate the need to continue to factor in race as part of the admissions process. Blacks and Latinos are both more likely to have more chronic and life threatening health conditions and to lack health insurance as a result of systemic racism. That's according to the Kaiser Foundation. Furthermore, research shows that health outcomes for the black and Latino communities are better when treated by doctors who share their ethnicity. Again, Shar Adams there, NBC News doing the reporting. It's a fact, as a black woman, I seek out, not exclusively, but I seek out black doctors for these very reasons, facts, not just anecdotal. How SCOTUS's decision impacts the black and brown community. More on it, explaining how dreadful the decision is to the underserved communities, the Secretary of Health, Xavier Becerra says, this ruling will make it even more difficult for the country's colleges and universities to help create future health experts and workers that reflect the diversity of our great nation. The health and well-being of Americans will suffer as a result. Dr. Blackstock, a physician, founder of Advancing Health Equity, says fewer black health professionals means less culturally responsive and equitable care for black patients. Also, the lack of black representation among black healthcare professionals is a problem for younger generations since you can't be what you can't see, okay? You have to see it to believe that you too can be it. Now, that sounds very simple and it's true. Black and Latino students representation, that's grown. However, it is still overwhelmingly small though compared to whites. As of 2019, 54.6% of all medical students in the country's medical schools were white. And black and Latino students accounted for 11.5% according to the Association of American Medical Colleges. In 2022-23, black students enrollment into medical schools accounted for 10%. Latino, Hispanic or Spanish origin students, 12% total. Patriculants, according to the Association of American Medical Colleges. Um, but we'll leave you with this before we, we discuss further for the sake of future generations. Here's the quote, we need more black physicians, more Latino physicians, because being a doctor is a form of opportunity for individuals and we should All have the same access to opportunities to fulfill whatever our potential is. That's from Max Jordan Nguemi Tayako, a medical student at Yale University who writes about racism in the medical field. Um, and it just, you know, Rick, here's the thing um, with the Supreme Court's um, moonwalking and undoing and <laughs> just uh, rolling it back. The schools should be able to come up with a policy to figure this out and thread a needle. That's really what we're talking about here, threading a needle. I'd like to see them start though by, I don't know, taking away some other unfair things like legacy, other yes. white privilege action items. Couldn't we start there? Well, okay, maybe you can't solve this other thing yet, but let's level the playing field just a little bit. It's not going to be nearly level, okay? And let's make it so that, you know, um, 
you're not gonna be able to get in just cuz your mommy or daddy did or somebody gave some money or I don't know your grandfather's names on a building whatever it is it's a simple thing but why aren't I'd like to see the universe if you really care and I know it's about donations why not start there well if we were to broaden the scope of just the term donations then what you would riddle out is something that the Young Turks have stood for for about 20 years now, which is getting mm. money out of politics because all of this is political. I'm gonna tell you a quick story. Um, there is somebody that I know who had better grades, better test scores than someone else who got into an Ivy League school because the latter's parents donated to put yeah. their name on, I don't remember what it was, let's call it a soccer field. Or a building. Hmm. And they got in over the person that I knew who had better test scores and better grades. So what Sharon is saying is completely accurate. On top of this, and I know that he's been talked about a lot, all right? And they had a chance to write this wrong many, many years ago for him to not even get a lifetime appointment on the court. But Clarence Thomas talking about colorblindness is insane to me. We do not live in a colorblind society. He was talking about how the Constitution is colorblind. I find that to be literally impossible when you have people that owned slaves that wrote the Constitution. Um, on top of this, what I view this as is they want to take this away to then lead to further damage. I feel like personally, and I'm not saying this with complete confidence, but it wouldn't surprise me. They're going after same sex marriage. They're going after affirmative action. They could, even though I don't think it'll happen, they could go up against and overrule, I'm sorry, withdraw the law being Brown versus Board of Education. And I think it's only gonna get worse. To add on to that, one of the things that we talked about was legacy admissions. If this were to happen, you would see so many middle aged and even up and coming conservative white men be a microcosm of parents in suburban America who are really pissed about any form, any form of understanding of systemic racism, any. Um, my last point is this. It's really interesting that they're okay with legacy admissions, they're okay with athletics, they're okay with financial aid. Yet race is the deciding factor. And when you really dig deep into it, you carve out the same thing that we started this with, at least my rant with, which is money and politics. Because this entire case was brought to the Supreme Court by a conservative who I believe his last name is Blum. And yeah. they are talking about how um, AAPIs were um, the faces of it for Mr. Blum, who's a conservative. And they're saying that they don't agree with affirmative action. The statistics have shown that when affirmative action is removed, the enrollee status of AAPIs only go up a very minimal amount. And I'm saying this as obviously a mayonnaise fella. This is only going to benefit people who look like me. Yeah. It will not benefit our other Americans who don't look like me. Wow. Well, you're a beautiful hue of mayonnaise, okay? I'll start <laughs> with that. You're, you're wonderful. Um, and I listen, I've long argued with colleagues who don't get it and don't understand their privilege. This is the real, what you're talking about is the real affirmative action mm -hmm. in America, okay? But it's been spun and this lie has been woven and now it's been taken to the highest court in the land. And the man who has a hue that's closer to me is um, the poster child for the lie. We'll keep following it. I will say this, I said it yesterday on a TYT program, damage report. Good I'd point. like to see, yeah, but I'd like to see the left be on their toes instead of their heels. I'd like to see people who say they have these core values and they do springing into action long before they're doing these manufactured cases, the other side. They were already peeling away these protections. Get after it, be aggressive, be aggressive.
Remember that? Okay. Be aggressive. 